quick overview of a really popular camera, the Pentax K1000 35mm single lens reflex camera. It's been the number one recommended camera at the Film Photography Project for 10 plus years. Number one! Cock your shutter. You can use this camera without a battery. If you wanted to do all your settings manually, use either the Sunny 16 method or use the handheld light meter. It does have an internal light meter to help you decide you know, what shutter speed and f-stop to use. The first thing you need to do is set your ISO. On this wheel, you lift up that and then you could change your ISO setting. Wonderful. And then also on this wheel, these are your shutter speeds. And this is how quickly the shutter opens up exposing your film to light. So now I'm at one fourth of a second. Listen, one thirtieth of a second, one sixtieth of a second. One sixtieth of a second has a orange X next to it. And uh, well, X. Marks a spot. X, look at that, X. Oh. X. It's for flash. And you just put it on your camera. So when you power it up, put your shutter speed to 60th of a second, X, and then on the back of the flash is the f-stop guide. I think what's really important to know is the relationship between the ISO of your film, the film speed, how sensitive the film is to light. Once you put your roll of film in the, in the camera, let's say Portra 400, and we established that it's 400 ISO, that's it. You're set. You cannot change the ISO mid-roll. You're set at the 400. So the important thing is the relationship between the ISO, sensitivity of the film, the shutter speed, how quickly the shutter opens, and your aperture, the f-stop opening. But I mean, who wants to deal with all that? I know that when I started in film photography, I didn't want to deal with it. So what I did was I used the internal light meter inside the camera. Look through your camera. You'll see a little needle to the right side. With your shutter speed set, you open your f-stop till you see the needle. Center. Yes, center. And then that is the proper f-stop and you're ready to shoot. When I first got involved with film photography, that's all I did. I didn't give it much thought. I just knew that that needle had to be centered and I would have a, a properly exposed picture. In order for the light meter in the Pentax K1000 to work, here's your battery compartment. And this is a fresh battery. This was what's known as an LR44 1.5 volt button cell. So if you go to a great place like batterymart.com and type in LR44, you'll see, you'll see the batteries. They're, they're easy to find and very inexpensive. This is your rewind. Also, I call the plunger that opens up the back of your camera. So you, you do that by pulling this up gently and pulling it out till the back of the camera opens. You open up the back of your camera. Once you load your film and load it in your camera, you do not open the back of your camera until the roll is finished and, and the film is re rewound back into its cartridge. Otherwise, you'll expose your film and you know ruin your shots. Film. This plunger goes down, great. This film gets dragged across. Here is a little slot where you put your film. It takes, if you're new to film photography, this takes some getting used to, but it's not that difficult. Combination of putting your film in the slot and putting your film on this sprocket hold wheels. Here we go, wait. Oh, look at that. Oh boy. Nope. 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 Don't panic. You can rewind your film a little bit by pressing this button on the bottom. That releases the tension and allows you to rewind. And let's just start over. No problem. Cock the shutter. Great. Make sure the film is actually being taken up. It is. Confidence is high. Closed back. You cock your film until your film is at number one. Number one! Here's your film counter. Be aware of how many exposures uh, per roll you have, 36 or 24 exposure, because you really don't want to extend the film beyond it, because if you're, if you're outside and you're very energized and you do this very quickly, you could easily pull the film off of the uh, spool. Yeah, of course, when you're done shooting your roll of film, click this button on the bottom. That's the only way to rewind your film. And then follow the arrow. Rewind your film. Take it out. 
as you can see i didn't go all the way you can leave the tongue out if you're developing your own film that's fine but if you're sending your film to like the darkroom.com for developing or any other favorite lab of yours, you would put the put the film back in the, in the cartridge. That's really it to get you started with the Pentax K1000. It's really a great camera. It's very reliable, dependable. Uh, I've had mine for decades and decades and it still works terrific. You could also take off the lens and put a different lens on it. This is the standard 50 millimeter lens. If you go online, you could find beautiful wide angle 28 or 24 millimeter lens portrait 135 millimeter lens or a zoom lens this is known as the pentax k mount lens uh, lenses are readily available on uh, ebay.com or uh, if you go to roberts they have their used photo pro.com please do leave your comments down below and uh, i hope you enjoy shooting the awesome pentax k1000 believe the hype it's a great camera that's not going to break your bank. <laughs>